day, every day. Welcome to the channel, baby. Welcome to the channel, Cubes in Texas, born and raised. All day, every day. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Juice out here with another video. I had something on my mind, which I already know. All y'all have seen it already. Oh, oh, it's fucking out there in Florida. You go to class, that's your ass. Oh, I'm, trying, I'm gonna try not to joke around about this. I don't know how you guys feel about it, but it almost seems to be a common thing nowadays. I hate school. I hate school as much as the next man. But god damn, to go in that bitch with an AR-15? Like, I mean, instead of studying social studies or history, motherfucker, your parents should have signed you up for the military. Join the Marines or something if you wanted to kill innocent people. There is no reason for that shit. Guys, I, I need to know how you guys feel about that. Are y'all letting y'all's kids go to public school? I mean, I don't have any kids, but when I do have that first child, man, he gonna be attached to me like he gonna be my slave. Heavy work, especially for DQ. He tells me he's never been to school, but he wants to go. They go to school. I saw them on the TV. I mean, don't get me wrong. He's going to learn everything he need to know. But that's that's my child. You know what I'm saying? That's me. That's mine. My kid is not going to public school. Oh. Uh, you, all, you will always hear me say nothing but bad things about public school. Not because they're, it's my opinion. Because it's facts, man. You shoot 17 people. You need to go to the military. We need you in the military in the front line. We need you to check the suicide bomber for a bomb. That's what we need him for. We don't need to put him in the death penalty. I know a lot of y'all, oh no, he needs to die. He needs to spend the rest of it. But really, what is that gonna do except for just give him pain and suffering? Like, let's, let's benefit from it. Let's make it a win-win situation. He wants to kill. So let's allow him to kill in a country. Cause like when you go to a different country, right? You go to Afghanistan, go ahead and escape if you want to. Try and escape. I fucking double dog dare you. Years, American soldier Bo Bergdahl had been held by the Taliban in Afghanistan. First, you gotta hop over the barbed wire fence that you're currently, that the, uh, that the camp, the base, the fob that you're on. Uh, you have to go through all that, right? Then, you have to you motherfucking try it if you want to. You're gonna be ass out in that country, a homeless person in Afghanistan as American. And you're not gonna be homeless long because there will be some Taliban come scoop your bitch ass up. And then when they realize you, that you're somebody who is over there for disciplinary actions, they most likely just gonna chop your head off and call it a day. I mean, don't ask me how I know. Cause I damn sure don't, but I can only imagine when I was over there or what they would do to people. So, I was talking to my boy Daniel who came down here uh, for the throughout the middle of the week. I think he's gone now. Hope we made it back safe, Daniel. Appreciate you coming out. Sorry that the weather was so fucked up. I wish we could have been able to do some wheelies together on a good day. I got my boy Daniel all the way from Dallas, Texas representing. As you can see, it is fucking wet outside. Anytime that you come down to my city, I'm gonna come out here, come ride with you. Having said that though, we were thinking, we were talking, and just a good piece of advice, guys. A good piece of advice. If you ever at the stunt lot, and you need a damn good excuse of why you're there doing wheelies when the police officer pulls up and he asks you a question, just tell him that that you're trying to learn how to ride a motorcycle. Don't tell them you're trying to do wheelie. Just say, hey, I'm trying to learn to ride a motorcycle. Killer Dane.
that felt real good right there. I felt like I was in complete control. All right, so what I was saying, when you bounce your bike at first gear at the stunt lot, 